phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are idioms consisting of a verb and a particle. Idiom, a phrase that has a meaning different from that of the combination of the words that comprise it. Particle, usually a preposition but sometimes an adverb. Phrasal verbs are sometimes called prepositional verbs but not accurate when the particle is not a preposition, hence these are also known as phrasal slash prepositional verbs. Two-word verbs. Multi-word verbs, because some consist of more than two words, e.g. put up with. Examples of phrasal verbs. Speak up. Fill out. Get out. Go down. Get up. Fire away. Put up with go out for, get away with, check out, get out, give in, give up, give away, fall through. Compare the balloon floated up, up, adverbial place, Jack ran up the stairs, preposition, head of the PP up the stairs, Jill threw up, up, particle in the phrasal verb throw up, meaning to vomit. In Reed Kellogg diagrams, the verb and the particle or particles of a phrasal verb are put together on the main line with no separating line. For example, here is the diagram of the sentence, the food ran out quickly, containing the phrasal verb run out, which means something like become exhausted or become depleted. Compare the previous diagram to the following one of the sentence, the balloon floated up quickly, which contains the verb run, followed by the adverb up. Actually, this same diagram serves also for the sentence, the balloon floated quickly up, once more illustrating the relative flexibility in the positioning of adverbials and giving more evidence of the adverbial status of up in this use. To determine if a particle following a verb belongs to the, that verb in a phrasal verb combination, or whether the particle is an adverb or is a preposition heading a following prepositional phrase, you can use the so-called movability test. To perform this test, try moving the particle and any word or phrase following it to the front of the sentence. If the resulting sentence is grammatical, you know that you have either a verb followed by an adverbial or a prepositional phrase. If the sentence is ungrammatical, this indicates that the verb-particle combination is in fact a phrasal verb. Examples. The man ran out. Out the man ran. Grammatical, therefore run out, is not a phrasal verb here. The man ran out the door. Out the door, the man ran. Grammatical, therefore run out, is not a phrasal verb here. But, the money ran out, ungrammatical, out the money ran. Ungrammatical, therefore run out, is a phrasal verb here, meaning something like become exhausted or become gone. The money ran out quickly, ungrammatical, out quickly the money ran. Ungrammatical, therefore run out, is a phrasal verb here meaning something like become exhausted or become gone. 